All right, 10.1 definition part three. I'm going to look at example four. Here's the data. And you notice that now, instead of just having raw data or a class list with frequency, I have two things of interest. I have an X value and I have a Y value. I'm now going to store them onto my calculator, which I've already done. Now, in 10.4, they want you to calculate the R value, the correlation coefficient. So, in order to do that, using the calculator, otherwise it's a really big formula, I'm going to go to stat, calc, and then do you see number four right here? L-I-N-R-E-G. That's linear regression in the form AX plus B. Now, we're going to use some of the other things in here later for 10.2 and 10.3, but for now, this is how we can get our R value without going through the long process the book wants us to go through. So, if you're using an 84C or one of the new 84 pluses, they're going to drop down a special menu. You're still going to enter in an X list and a Y list, which is L1 for the X, comma, L2 for the Y, because that's how I stored my data set. Hit enter. And now it spits out a whole bunch of information. So it gives me the equation y equals ax plus b. Think mx plus b. So the slope of that is 0.16, 0 0.106. My intercept is 0.396. Again, these two pieces of information we are not going to use until 10.2 and 10.3. What I'm interested in is the r value of 0.9819. This is really close to a positive 1. So I could say that this has a really strong correlation and really strong linear correlation, and I can say it's a positive correlation. Now, r squared is literally that. It's the correlation coefficient squared, and there's other stuff we do with it later on.